So recently I came close to offering myself, which is not ideal at all, and I came super close to it. I'm not making this video to get my friends or family scared or get sympathy from you guys. It is just to help with awareness because for myself, I don't do uh, drugs, I don't do alcohol, I don't self-harm. So the common sign and symptoms of it is harder. And what I've learned is for myself, there's not be one situation where like, cool, let's do it. For myself, it's going to be a collective of situations where it's brought up to a point where like, I'm at my breaking point. And I think that is common for other people, but some situations can be to say like that one situation, cool, let's do it. So it does all depend. But what I have noticed is if you're seeing someone who is more quiet than normal or is doing too much work and you're like, okay, that's not normal, just go over and say, are you okay? Do you need any help? Do you need any support? Do you want someone to just listen to your situation? or to see where you can help to make their life a bit more easier. These things can just make a huge difference. And in the daily question, I felt like I couldn't turn to anyone um, because my friends were all going through their own stuff. Uh, and when you're all going through your own situation, you don't want to burden anyone else with the, the pressure of talking about such a deep, dark, subject but I think at the same time sometimes you have to be selfish to be selfless so if I did do what I was planning to do the burden of the situation didn't change for myself yes I'm free of it but then the burden of the guilt of of the regret goes to your friends family thinking oh, I should, I should have done, done more, I should have listened more, I should have, have uh, talked to them more, DM'd them more. Uh, I should have done so much to support. But I think when you're in that you're thinking, it's, it's the only outcome, the only outcome you think it makes sense, it's a situation where you feel like that. Beth, Beth, my best advice is either talk to Samaritans, there are free ch charity where you can just literally, literally just talk about your situation and it helps. And if if it doesn't help, then go to, then go to sleep. And if it's for a power nap or it's for uh, five six hours, you're going to feel a lot better for it. And going through going through the day, it is hard for myself personally. I wanted to do the plan in the morning, but I chose not to. I, and it wasn't like I wanted to do it. The last thing I wanted to do, it was the hardest thing that you can do is just keep going and just going through the day itself until a new day. Because when you go through that situation, you can't undo it. So, so just try best to just hold hold on and just talk. Because I found talking 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 to someone does really help uh, because you are talking your situation to someone else you're feeling you're getting heard you're getting that understanding of your your thoughts your feelings are valid so you feel like you're not alone and that is the best thing i mean if you ever feel like you're in that state then to please do reach out to your friends your family to myself if need be because um, I'd be more happy to help because I know for a fact if my friends are going through a similar situation I'd be more happily go out of my way to make sure that they're safe and happy um, because having having a person around is better than not having them around because if, if someone isn't there anymore you can't do new experiences with them you can't have a laugh you can't cry together you can't do so much things you would you, you would do t together and it is a really hard one because no one no one will ever choose it to be their f first option it's always going to be the last option uh, and i think there's three stages to doing it it's having the intuitive thoughts having a plan then executing the, the plan itself and you just have to just 
see what you're doing and try your hardest to not do it and and the best advice is if you feel like you're you feel like you're not safe or you feel like or you feel like you're going to hurt others then please do re- re- reach out to the uh, mercy services because sometimes you need to go to a mental hospital to help you going through that really hard situation and asking for help is not easy at all uh, but it can do yourself a lot of favours in the long term and it allows you to learn different ways to cope with situations that are going to be in front of, of, of yourself. Um, for this video I haven't scripted it so I'm just going off the cuff so um, hopefully you find this information useful, helpful for yourself, for other people. Um, yeah, <laughs> uh, I don't really know how to finish it off but um, thank you for watching this video and I will do and I will see you guys later. Bye.